So as the Bible says, there are two perspective for Adam. Adam is human. This is not historical story. There are two perspectives. One of them is called Lea or Lilith, and we shall explain this perspective. And another one is Rachel or Eve. Yes, do we get those names? Do we get somehow this picture before we start an opening? Those perspectives, non-duality, phenomenon, nomenon, and yes, yes. So, Adam or human has first perspective when he doesn't have a relation to the world. He thinks he doesn't see himself part of the world. Yes, and this considered to, to him to be back-to-back -back relation. And he thinks that all of us, yes, it's not just about Adam, it's all of us, yes? Yes, I'd have, yes, yes. I see Abigail, I see. So the primal or the first perspective is human and the world is against him. This and all of us, all of us, yes, all of us are included of this perspective. In this situation, we don't see, we are unable to see the goodness, the completeness of the world. And there's, a, in a way, conflicts or we don't understand. There's a lot of suffering that comes, that comes with this perspective. We cannot prevent it. This is how it exists. And this kind of relations considered to be Adam and Lilith. Do we understand this perspective? This is the primal mode. Adam plus Lilith. Lilith, in a way, it's like night. Lilith, Lyle, once I will write it, yes. Lilith, oh Lilith, yes. When Lyle, Lyle, this is night. So it's like a person in the dark. We are, it's for all of us, yes. It's like a person in the dark, does not recognize anything. And there is another mode, which is considered, and this is this mode considered to be in a way back to back. I will move now through a lot of parables because the sages, they open this story in many names many perspectives, so I, I'll try to move along with their way of thinking. Another one is when Adam recognizes or when we recognize the goodness of the world, we have relation to the world. And this kind of perspective is Adam plus Chava, Adam and Eve. Yes? So there is like and this is considered to be, for us, the recognition is like a daylight. So the first, the primal relation is back to back or a night mode when nothing illuminates and there's a lot of uh, suffering that comes with it because we don't understand and the person in a way struggles with himself because he doesn't have relation to the world. But the second, this is why the Bible says Hapa Amzot this time. Hapa Amzot. There is recognition. And Hapa Amzot, this time when there's a recognition, this is considered to be a day situation when the light is shining, when we recognize that everything is beautiful and good, there's a relation to the world, a recognition. So this is regarding to Adam and Eve, but the Zohar opens another layer and brings Jacob's story. 
and he says the following that Jacob is a correction or a corrected aspect of Adam yes when the primal mode of Jacob is with Leah Jacob and Leah this is a primal mode like Adam and Lilith please pay attention that the letters are similar we have the the Lamed Leah Lilith so this is the first relation Jacob and Leah this is also why she is given to him by the way Leah under the darkness under the veil at the night of the wedding Laban switches the bride under the veil at night nobody the guest aware of it but not Jacob it's night he does not distinguish anything and Leah comes first as his first wife and then there is another marriage or relationship with Jacob and Rachel when Jacob loves Rachel because she is beautiful the day is beautiful the day illuminates for us like the sun in the sky so do we have those perspectives because as the Bible says there is Adam and primal mode not yet Lilith Lilith is additional uh, perspective that we are gaining the Bible itself says that he took the rib the rib Tzela Tzela is a rib but this is also one line from any kind of a form when we have a triangle we have three lines shalosh tzlaot in a triangle shalosh is three tzlaot those are lines yes and then we have ribua or malben the other rectangle we, we have four ribs so to speak in hebrew so there is a line so please pay attention that in genesis there is no perspective of Lilith this is a later addition yes in the Bible there is a rib and the rib has few qualities first of all it's a bone yes the rib is a bone it's something which is hard which is stiff it's not liquid so first of all the rib is a bone it is white uh, the rib is taken from the side yes and this is interesting because now I move like Luria moved to the relation between the rib that comes from the side and Leah because Leah yes was taken from the rib I move here a lot because this is how the sages are moving Leah is considered to be the rib the rib is white it is solid this is considered to be also judgment rough judgment dinakashia in Aramaic they call it rough judgment something which is strong dinakashia this is the relation with the rib because it's not so much with Leah and the night this is the relation that we have to something which is not yet known to us this is the relation that we have to the potential do we understand this concept that the rib tzela is the potential do we understand that rib tzela is the potential do we understand this concept before we continue thank you so the relation we have yes yes Fernando yes
can we think that it is near from the heart? We could, uh, yes, it is from the side, it's from the rib, it is close to the heart. Yes, yes, we could. We could, it's also a potential of building, yes, but slowly. Yes. Yes. So, first of all, Tsela is not, we usually think about the human body that Tsela, because we have ribs, the human body has ribs, but it's not about, again, the human body structure. All of those are just uh, symbols. Tsela is like when we draw, let's say, a triangle. We have three ribs or three lines and we take line and from this line, the painter starts in a way a new building or the architect yes he takes a line regardless now of the bible takes a line and with this sketch he starts and with inspiration he draws a building or a chapel or a city yes and with this this is in this case the tzela the rib is in a way a spark a potential and we have many many times in a way a struggling relation with the potential because the potential is not clear this is potential energy it's like bubbling in us in all of us humans also in animals also in, in plants the whole creation is built like this. This is a poten energy and potential and it bubbles like the, how do you say, like a mountain volcano. It's, it's, it's bubbling inside. And all of us are experienced this, the relation with the rib, again, not, not just as a cage of ribs in the human body, but as a potential, as a spark, as a startup, startup, yes? Like when you, we light a message, something like that and all of us have those relation with this it's rough because this potential fire which is burning in all of us what does it want how does it uh, will be actualized in what way in what emotion feeling color yes it's not clear you see, this is what is happening now. You noticed, all of us, all of us, we noticed there is a change. Yes, we meet here now, Monday and Thursday, with Discord conversation, which are conceptual conversations. But there's something also is going on because there's like daily streaming on YouTube with paintings and texts from the Zohar and Aramik and Tikkune Zohar, very, very high high level uh, text, uh, textual ideas, con conceptual, very, very tough to, to get if we don't have abstract thinking. So you feel, I, I believe, yes, I believe that you feel this too, that something is bubbling, yes, under the surface. And it's for us, like you ask me, Abigail and Yanis, what is the schedule, yes? We would like to participate, and I said, I don't know, because we're still testing. You notice a few minutes before we started this Discord again, because we're always moving and trying new things, because also it's not clear what is going to happen. We just, at the moment, what happens, what comes, this is what we broadcast, yes? Or it's not clear, so it is when something like this goes out like streaming on youtube at the moment in a way it's great happiness but at the back end how to do what to do what text to bring and will people understand and so is all of us have those relation to the potential energy this uh, friction you know when you take a match and you scratch the match on this uh, side of the how do you say match books it, it has a scratch yes 
finally it will it will bring a little uh, light yes of fire but it has a friction yes so this is the relation to the potential or the rela- if if i go in a way beyond the relation to the nominal and the softer relation that we have is in a way Adam and Eve or Jacob and Rachel. Why? Because it's soft, it's also manifested, it has a form, it has a color. Because let's say Discord, let's take Discord now as Rachel. It is clear that is this is on Monday, on Thursday, on four o'clock Israel time. The setting is clear, there is a channel called conversation, there is a text, chat, we can re- ask questions in writing, we can raise our hand and ask questions or converse. By the way, all of you are invited to converse with voice. You can lift a hand and you can operate your microphone and use your voice to speak or to say whatever you wish. So when the setting this is not just about relation between Jacob and Rachel. When the setting is clear, the time, yes, of the day, the time of the week, the platform, people he- here have avatars, the chat box, the topic, it is more, it's, it's softer, it's more relatable. Except of the topic that we're gonna speak about, everything is clear. But to configure something from nothing, this is more problematic. Do we understand those two concepts? This is Adam with a rib, Adam with a potential, and then Adam with Eve with the experience, like what we have experienced here on Discord on Mondays. This is experience. People come, ask questions, yes? and we discuss things. Are those two themes clear to us now? Because the Bible is the book of concept. He, the Bible explains how concept, how life is working for all of us, for all of us. Questions, do we have questions? In a way, we all of us humans is, is one human, yes? Like different phases, we have different names and different, let's say, we live in different places, but the human experience is the same. To configure something from nothing can be like Adam and Lilith. Yes, because everything, we are just walking in the dark, yes? We walk in the dark. It's not clear. Let's say, just an example. Yes? We would like to start an idea. Not just a YouTube stream. Person would like to to start something. But how? Where to hold it? Yes? What do we want? It's not even clear to us. There's a bubbling energy inside. Cannot sleep at night. No, I would like to do this and that. And... We search, we are looking for things. Yes, we make a research. Everything is bubbling. What is up? What is down? Which time? How it will look like? Will people appear in this case? Yes, because it's conversations and sharing and so. Everyone with his uh, way. But first, we have this, let's say, primal version with a lot of mistakes and errors and uh, let's say doubts and we try and it doesn't work and the microphone does not it does not bring in a way voice we, we checked everything before and now we come and there's no voice and nobody hears and then configure in the middle of conversation how does it work and so on yes so to configure something from nothing can be like Adam and Lilith Yes, from nothing. 
yes but from something this is in a way flesh and this is why Rachel is considered to be flesh Basar, Adom, red yes soft because this is already something this is exist yes like the day the the light in the day it exists so there's no struggle it exists there's a stake in a way if we would like to take the flesh yes and just stake on the plate you don't have to go somewhere to the city to bring and configure what kind of lunch to to serve there is already this is how it is are those two concepts clear to us at the moment Luria says another thing that Lea at the beginning, yes, she was, it was hard because this is a rough, rough relations, but with her tears, with her tears and her prayers, she sweetened so to speak this situation and she with her prayers because we have to make a forward Leah and now I move again to the sage's story about Leah there were two brothers and two sisters Jacob and Esau Rachel and Leah and Esau he was first born and Leah as well so as first born both of them supposed to be wed in a way Leah supposed to be wed to whom to Esau and Rachel to Jacob this is how it used to this is was the plan but Leah was afraid to marry Esau yes and she used to cry a lot and to pray she, she used to leave her house and go to to the roads and to ask and cry and pray cry and pray and this is why the Bible says in her eyes are soft that the tears in a way sweeten the, the rough judgment yes the tears sweeten the rough judgment of the struggle with nothing also Leah is the rib and the rib in the human body is in the side Tzela but sad is the side and she as the Tzela is the rib supposed to be married to the hunter Hunter Esau. Do we see this connection? Do we see? One second, Esau. Yes, very good, Esau. Yes, Esau, Tsayad. He is a hunter, Tsayad. Tsayad. Yes, and he hunts from the side from the side and the rib is also from the side we say that Leah is the rib Tzela Tzadi and Tzadi yes Tzela yes rib side and Tzayad hunter the side so she supposed to be married to Esau Tzad but she didn't want to and her tears and her prayer in a way changed her the course of things and Rachel just is beautiful she doesn't have to do anything so Leah was more in a way proactive yes Rachel is more passive because she's beautiful she doesn't have to do anything Leah was in a way much more active the potential the nothing is much more active this is 
This is very, very deep thinking. You can also speak by voice. You can open your microphone. There's also an option to speak by voice, dear friends. Yes, Fernando. Makes me wonder if Lea is our soul. Yes. And Isav is another part of us, what we usually bring to marry with her. Yes, yes. Yes, 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 Leah in a way, yes. This is what, uh, what you are saying, this is what Lutzato said in his book. It is beautiful, it is beautiful. He says that Leah is the soul and she has six sons and one daughter and six sons are like the six days of the week, the manifestation of time. And the daughter Dina is a reflection of the seventh day, the resting day when the, her name is Dina, the daughter, then judgment, when the judgment is resting because the judgment, what is judgment? Movement, struggle, yes and no. Shall I call her? Yeah, say there's a guy who wants to start off with someone. Shall I call her? Shall I not? Shall I text her? Shall I not? This is moving. Yes or no? Yes or this is judgment. And yes, yes. This is what Lutzato says about Leah. Yes. When we are hunting to conquer our space. Yes. Yes. Questions or thoughts that you would like to ask or to say? Yes. Could side be related to parallel? Yes. Yes, side, of course, could be par related to parallel thinking, yes. And this is, yes, this is Leah. Yes, this is symbolic, yes, 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 yes. Rachel, in a way, this is what, this is a fact, yes, and this is it. But Leah, because it's also potential or nothing, everything can be there in the lateral thinking. Yes, very good, very good, Fernando, very good. So, just to summarize this topic, it is very natural. Sometimes, because usually people do not speak about this, about what we speak now, people usually do not speak, that the potential energy that is in a way built or is given to all of us as being here is always bubbling and sometimes we feel unrest or we feel agitated or and sometimes we we think that it's a b c d because this happened before and this happened after and i have to prepare for meeting or I have to do this, all kinds of narration is going in the head, you know, like a washing machine. But this is, in a way, energy in potential that wants to move through us. Like infinite is moving through us. So the infinite moves through us in many ways. And sometimes when new things are supposed to come, to arrive, to manifest, it is like boiling yes so the um, the relation is not to judge ourselves oh i'm not i don't have no i don't have nirvana i'm not a <laughs> buddhist monk and i don't have this serene peace no on the contrary when uh, this energy or this sense is bubbling inside this is a life energy this is infinite energy this is part of the expression of life yes 
because usually people uh, want to shut it down yes they take pills they go to all kinds of seminar to sit on cushions 10 hours 15 hours to shut it no it's important nobody can just accept it this is part of life this is what this is the, the sparky the, the the stream yes this infinite that, that animates all of us all creation an infinite life as existing fact so so lo let's don't get excited or upset when we feel those streams inside of us sometimes it's unrest we go from the kitchen to say I won't do this I won't do it it's it's like a, how do you say this clock tack, tack, tack. sometimes because this energy wants yeah something yeah but for us it's not clear how it will be manifested in which in which ways through which uh, uh, courses so just accept it as life streaming in us or through us questions do you find uh, streaming on youtube helpful do they help you in some some kind of way No, yes, yes. Thank you, Fernando. Thank you, Yanis. Note, we don't try to. Yes, once I had a professor and doctor in university, and I was, hi, you know, let's. This is a, can be that and that, and just don't, don't uh, show this happiness. If you will show this happiness or this kind of energy, you will fall into to deep dive and sadness. No no don't shut don't try to shut it don't try to shut it because what happens first of all it will be mechanical and we are not in control when life streams through us they will come in different variations in different colors in different hours of the days of the night in different scenarios and to shut it down all this um, kind of a weird concept that we can uh, control infinite the, first of all this is this is a lie it's a construct and it's a sense of a person who was drunk from himself that and he or she thinks that they are in power or they have it and configure it no human has it configure it or under his control so of course if something is coming and bubbling it is it's uneasy it's unrest you should see me last night you should see me here in front of a few minutes before the streams how does it feel and how does the house look like you know <laughs> yes streaming is already in peace but the the oceans of uh waves that are moving here before there's a stream <laughs> because it it wants to go out it it just beats you you know and it doesn't matter if it's a day or a night or it's rain or storm it doesn't matter when it wants something from you it it will shake you shape you and you just like <laughs> like a puppy <laughs> just poor puppy Yes. 
Yes. Yes, Abigail, we just need to balance the hunter and the shepherd. Yes, we don't... Uh, it just we can see different notions that okay sometimes the hunter comes to visit sometimes but it's just to accept that this is how life is this is how life is and not to reject because usually the system yes yes this is a scheme of the tree of life yes fernando uh, because usually in schools and this education system there's like a, a trial to to tame people and to sit and to be quiet and to concentrate because there are 30 children in class or more and you know there's like average of peace that's supposed to be and so but uh, life is so different and what we learn to sit and be quiet and so <laughs> because there's infinite variations of how life comes and through us and to accept it, just not fight it. Because when we fight it or bring an opposite, just we want to suppress and, and to contain, to put four walls on its own scrutiny, on this energy, what happens is this is duality, yes? Because there's something going, and we, we, we've, let's say, physically or something, or mentally want, want to block it, so we operate in opposite power, and this is duality, like there's another force. Like, we, who are we to, to reject? And many people, uh, all of us, we're trying to reject. But since it cannot be, it will not hold, even if we try. To go against it, it will not hold. Because this is what comes from the source and this is what will be. Yes, it is a noise. Yes, it is a noise sometimes. And it is a noise that tells us all kinds of stories. This beautiful noise tells us all kinds of stories. Yes. Yes. If for a moment we don't, uh, and it happens, because it happens several times during the day, that there's something to go for. But before the streams come all kinds of thoughts, you should have, you could have, yes? So it's a noise or like, yes, a system of pipes in the lavatory. This is all the time things are being pushed in those pipes, even in the great hotels. There's lavatory or toilet and there are like pipes that in a way pushing the unnecessary stuff under. So there's all the time something going on, all the time. And this, and this is life, and this is life. It is important to be in connection with friends, with people, writing, sending music, whatever, whatever you wish, whatever comes to you, but to be in connection with the hand to the world. Yes, Pixidis, I saw this in my notes on an old class you did. Shadows and oil in the air, the living tension, yes. Yes, without it, we disappear. Yes. So this is so beautiful. And I'm so happy that we have this space here on Discord. And we can share and converse together. Because what happens is when we do streaming on YouTube many times, it is in different hours of the days or of the night or early morning or dawn. And then when the streaming comes, I speak to the microphone like if there is a class, yes, if there are people there, if they are asking questions, and I also speak and also ask questions if, yes. And 
sometimes people are coming and say hello but here I feel there is immediate in a way um, not response by presence yes this presence this is a divine presence and this is so beautiful this is so so beautiful and I would like to thank each and every one of you for participating in this divine presence it is something that we cannot put a price on it we just can't yes Abigail this is just a testing mode we're just running something yes as we say this is a start startup and it eventually will arrive it eventually will arrive any questions that you have that you would like to ask You can, you can also, I remind all of us, you can open your microphone and speak by voice. This is also an option. You can open your microphone and speak. Yes, Fernando, did you want to say something? Thank you so much. Thank you so much. <laughs> Abigail, I understand your feelings and concerns, but as you heard, I myself also don't know what is going to happen. You see, this is the beauty of life. We try, we build lessons but how and when we don't know yes it does nothing personal against you because nobody knows this is the beauty of it this is how life is moving through us or being lived through us and with this beautiful sentence i would like to thank you all for participating here for me this is holy of holies this space with you for me is holies, holies of holies and thank you so much for being here with us today thank you so so much and shalom shalom